गुरुर्भव स्वाहा तत्सवितो वारिण्यम भर्गोतिवास्य धीमाहि धीयो योना प्रचोदय Got the coin to beauty for the purple sun Lady and she strong the life will never come and then Put it to by the purple ways that shine so bright They can't do it all standing tall and they're all right The purple sun they got the way Original and true they won't be led astray Happy kids will try but you know they never win They hate they spread the purple sun will burn burn I'm a Capricorn, can't you see? A force of nature, wild and free I'm in my element on top of my game No one can match me, I break the chain Copycats want the throne, but they can't even climb They try to imitate, but I'm one of the kind Black magic won't work, cause I'm too bad I'm a Capricorn, nothing can contain I'm a Capricorn, can't you see? A force of nature, wild and free I'm in my element on top of my game No one can match me, I break the chain Hello, beautiful Capricorns. It is your XOXO goddess girl. I hope you all can hear me. Uh, it is time for your reading. Uh, let me see what I can do with the screen here. Hmm, interesting. Hello, beautiful Capricorns. How are all of you doing? I hope you're doing amazing. Hey, Janine, Patricia, Jess, V69, Tass, Molidia, all of you. Okay, good to have you in the chat. Capricorns, we're going to start with your reading. Yes, we're going to focus on finance career, education, health, love, spirituality, sexuality, sensuality. But before we do that, I'm going to start with Lord Ganesh Bhagavan, the elephant face god in Vedic belief system and Vedic astrology. He stands not for taking away impediments and blockages, everybody. That's just the minor thing that he does. He stands for abundance. This is what he does, okay? While I'm shoveling the list, Capricorns, I'm going to give you, uh, sorry, the cards, I'm going to give you a list, okay? Cass, uh, GDT is overloaded with the birth chart readings and emergency readings. Let me first start with the emergency readings of 300 euros that have been done. Mason, Edita, Usha, Vinod, Akram, and Nadia, your 300 uh, birth chart reading, emergency reading, has been done. Make sure that you check your email and also your spam. And let me also know what the quality is regarding, you know, black screens, sound issues, etc. Uh, they already went through quality control, so they must be okay. Uh, Jennifer, uh, Will, you know who you are. You got part one. And you also got part uh, two sent to you. Let me also know, okay, how you received it. And also Arturo, Rishma, Nisa, Vikash, and Omar, uh, yours was also done. Okay, it was through quality control, accepted, and it's done. Yes. There are some that are still with quality control that uh, are being checked, which is Belinda, Selena, uh, Jessica, let me see, uh, and Amber and JF. So bear with me, please. Okay. Yes, it's being uh, checked. And um, let me see. Jamel, yours is done. It's also good for quality control. Okay. It's, it's ready to be sent to you, but you did not leave an email address. So you need to share your email address. All of you, it's a holy event, beautiful Capricorns. You do not want to miss out on this. By the way, thank you for the humongous donations that I've received. I'm not talking about nickels and dimes. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of donations. I know the work that I deliver, right? Nobody will deliver that because I am the daughter of a brown priest. So you will get something that is, of course, you know, not the ordinary uh, birth chart reading that people sell or even that you can just find online, right? Because 99.9% .9 you will find online, everybody. I am the daughter of a brown priest, so I will give you total different birth chart readings. Yes, I will not. Uh, disappoint you. I will amaze you. And regarding the Holy Fent, everybody, it is until... Uh, the moment that I sell, that is, 
maybe the 18th, and then it stops everybody. Uh, but the 17th, the 18th, I'm going to stop selling the 100 euros uh, holy event birth chart readings because it's over then. There is not going to be a holy event anymore. And I, of course, need time to do that. It's all manual work for me. Okay, so um, you have a few days to go, everybody. If you want to buy one, you will not be disappointed. Yes, it's 100 euros net. Make sure that you also transfer the net amount. Also, whether you want an emergency reading or anything else. And if you bought the 100 euros, you can always upgrade later, everybody, to a full birth chart reading. By the way, for those who have bought a full birth chart reading, bear with me. Also, the list that I didn't mention yet, because there is a full list behind it. Uh, I will first give you your 100 euros uh, birth chart readings because of the timelines, okay? After that, I will add it with the rest of your full birth chart reading if you bought a 250 uh, full birth chart reading, okay? Okay, here we go. Let's see what we have. Yes, sorry for the long intro, but there are a lot of people, right, that want to know the status and uh, the workload that I'm uh, uh, focusing on, etc. So, you know, we're a family, right, everybody? So we uh, we did that. Now let's start with your reading, Yes. I'm not going to be there very long, everybody, because I have lots of work to do. Yes. So let's start focusing on your reading right now. Here we go. I care records, please. Holy Spirit, God, our Father in heaven, the Lord, angels, ancestors, the beautiful dragon. Please give us beautiful messages for the amazing, gorgeous Capricorns. Hey, Sufi, Tamika, DJ Old School, Franchise. Good to have all of you here. Okay, here we go. Let's see. First card that wants to come out. Oh, you have wholeness. Look at you. Look at this energy. Oh, you got to love that. Of course, meditation is here, yoga. Meditation is not only yoga, right, and asanas. It's also going outside for a beautiful stroll, walk in the park, okay, uh, being in nature, doing your workout, going to the gym, reading a good book, you know, uh, soaking in the bathtub, anything that has to do with quality time and zen and peace energy, right? Uh, wholeness is when you feel whole, right? When everything is uh, making sense and every piece is coming together, right? Let's see. What else do we have? Here? Oh, achievement is here. Look at you. Look at you. Now, you already know, right? Whatever you want, you can, of course, achieve it. You can manifold it. We're not in an era of manifesting anymore. We're in a manifolding energy, right? So whatever you want, whatever you pray, yes, speak call into your existence. You will achieve it. Yes, all blessings here. Look how beautiful this energy is. Let's take another one here. Wow, you have the OM sign, everybody. Divine support is here. OM is also Amen. It's also Amen. It's the uh, first sound, everybody, in the universe, right? It's also, and then there was light, right? Mm. Look at you, look at you, look at you. Uh, these are, by the way, all in the upright. Um, also in the middle, uh, you see two women, right? In this case, uh, it's helping other people, coaching other people, supporting other people, uh, being there for other people, also doing good deeds, right? Um, if there is any donation that you want to do, whether it's your time, it's your efforts, it's your money, it's your attention, uh, it's just saying hello to somebody who needs a hello, right? Or giving somebody a cuddle who needs a cuddle, right? Looks like you're doing that. Um this is, of course, uh, Ganesh Bhagawan. So I am the daughter of a Brahmin priest. And mantras uh, only uh, work, everybody, if it is a uh, mantra in Sanskrit. Uh, by the way, Fee is asking about other payments. Uh, I have to check that, everybody, okay? Uh, one of my assistants is still ill. And, uh, yeah, I have to check whether I can do any other payments than PayPal. Uh, I know a lot of you want, uh, you know, credit card or ideal. Bear with me, okay? I will have to check that, everybody. Yes? What you always can do is ask if somebody else has a PayPal account, everybody, and then you transfer that money uh, via that person's account and you let me know via email. By the way, do make sure in PayPal, okay, that all your data is in there. Otherwise, we need to look right in the email. Yeah? You're welcome, Fee. Um, so the mantra, everybody, is in Sanskrit. I have I've already told you, Sanskrit, everybody, is from India. I am the daughter of a brown priest. Any mantra must be done in Sanskrit. If it's not done in Sanskrit, it is a curse. So uh, let's do this mantra in Sanskrit, which I will sing for you right now. Yes. Jai Ganesha, Jai Ganesha, Jai Ganesha Deva, Mata Jaki Parvati Pita Mahadeva. Jai Ganesha, Jai Ganesha, Jai Ganesha Deva, Mata Jaki Parvati Pita Mahadeva. 
So these are blessings on blessings on blessings. When a mantra is being done, everybody, in Sanskrit, you will definitely receive the blessing on blessing on blessing. And again, everybody, be careful, because if you are listening to people that are uh, not doing it in Sanskrit or they're attempting to do it in Sanskrit, but they do not read the Holy Scriptures like the Mahabharata, the, the Veda, um, the Ramayan, you know, any of Smriti and Sruti, then uh, it's a curse, everybody. Yes, so be blessed. Yes, this is a beautiful blessing from Ganesh Bhagavan, where he said that um, in this case, you can achieve anything that you want. Anything that you want. And the Om sign is, of course, also Amen. It's also Amin, whether you are Christian, Hindu, Muslim, or any belief system that you have. It is the same first primary uh, sound in the world uh, based on, and then there was light, as we know, in the Holy Bible, right? So this is a beautiful energy to start with. Yeah. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. For some of you, number 24, uh, number 48 or number uh, 42 is important. I have mirroring energies here, 42 to 4. So 42 to 4. Others of you, you are in your 20s or you are in your 40s, really important, right? And um, define support, achievement and wholeness, whatever you want. It's here, okay? Gorgeous energy. All... Um, Pictures have eyes closed. So there is a deep meditation. And others of you, you know what this is about, right? This is your 100 euros birth chart reading or your 250 euros if you bought one uh, recently, right? It's including the 100 euros. You know exactly why the eyes are closed, right? The eyes are beautifully closed. Totally zen, totally peaceful here. I love it. I love it. The green energy is the heart chakra. Uh, this energy is more during the day, and this energy is during sunrise. So uh, there's an energy of dividing your attention during the day in an appropriate way, and because of that, not losing energy, not losing frequency. Some of you could be twins, or you're part of a sibling uh, setting of three children. Beautiful energy. And others of you, you have two children, maybe even twins, I don't know. Gorgeous energy. Capricorns, I love it. Mm, always good to start with Jay Ganesh. Ganesh Bhagawan. Bhagawan means God, everybody, okay? Yes. Let's start with your reading. I'm going to leave these here because these are your blessings. And uh, we're going to look at some other things here right now regarding what's going on, regarding finance, career, education, health, love, spirituality, sexuality, sensuality, and beauty. Yes. Uh, I see some of you taking some beautiful foot baths or you're having a beautiful pedicure or manicure. Others of you, this is your business, right? This is what you do. Massages, pedicure, manicure. And others of you, I see you having some kind of a beautiful spa day, right? You're going to the spa. You're having your nails done. You're going to the hammam. Your whole body, right, is being scrubbed, you know? Before you know it, you know, everything is looking all, you know, good and excellent, right? And others of you, this is, of course, right, Capricorn energy because Capricorn is being ruled by Saturn. Saturn is known, everybody, to, of course, not make you age. Yes, there is no other zodiac sign who doesn't, uh, you know, who doesn't have this. Uh, any other zodiac sign doesn't have this. Only you have this. You are the only zodiac sign who don't age. Yeah, yeah. So let's see what we have here. Beautiful uh, Capricorns. Let's see what we have for you. Let's start with finance. Holy Spirit, God, our Father in heaven, the Lord, angels, ancestors, the dragon. Give us beautiful messages for the amazing genius goats, money-making gods and goddesses, the greatest of all time, regarding finance, career, education, health, love, spirituality, sexuality, sensuality, and beauty. Hey, Kimberly, Goddess Shirley, good to have you. Hey, London G, hey, darling. Good to have all of you in the chat, okay? By the way, do make sure that you subscribe, like, share, comment, hit that notification bell. Also, the new subscribers, okay? Yes, thank you for being here. It's an honor to do all of your readings, generically speaking, in YouTube. And also uh, the emergency readings and birth chart readings. I'm not really online, everybody, because I got a lot of work to do regarding the paid personal readings and especially the birth chart readings. So bear with me, okay? Yes. And we're not going to have a very long reading regarding this one because I need to continue with the other readings. Yes. Let's see. 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 Let's see what we have. Here we go. Let's see. We have the Ace of Cups reversed. Hmm. We start with the Ace of Cups in your finance section. It's the first card that wants to come out. 
For some of you, you don't want to give anymore regarding a uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Others of you, you have uh, water in your chart and uh, you have learned Capricorns not to, uh, uh, you know, execute impulsive uh, uh, spendings anymore. So this is, you know, also when you go to the grocery store, right? Uh, when you're at the cashier, you're ready to pay for your groceries or whatever you're buying, right? There's always something, right, installed at the cashier, right? Why? Because, you know, this is an impulsive buying moment, right? The final moment you're going to pay and then, oh, yeah, I really need this one too. It could be candy, could be anything, right? I see you stopping doing that here. You stop doing that because um, the Ace of Cups reverse is also an emotional. Some of you are emotional eaters. Others of you, you are emotional spenders, right? So if you don't feel well, you start spending your money and the Ace of Cups is reversed, meaning if you're doing that, stop doing that. It's the advice up for you to decide. Others of you, um, you stop doing that yourself because you're realizing that. You're like, nah, nah, I don't need that. Yeah, others of you, you're cutting out certain uh, uh, fast food or fast drink uh, behaviors. So this is every uh, morning you need your Starbucks or every evening, you know, you uh, order at a restaurant. I see you limiting that uh, either because it's a finance, you don't want to do that, or maybe it's necessary. Others of you, because you want to eat and drink healthier. So um, this energy is a good energy here, okay? It's an amazing energy. Because the Ace of Cups reverse means that, uh, you know, the Ace of Cups reverse, by the way, is also water. I told you that in another reading, right? I don't know if somebody's saying that, but there is no water in finance, everybody, okay? There's not, nothing to do with water. It's, it's reversed. I've already told you that. It has nothing to do. So um, if you aren't doing water rituals for your money, it has nothing to do. There's nothing going to happen, everybody. It has nothing to do with money. Nothing is going to happen regarding water and money. It doesn't work like that. Uh, money is tangible, everybody. Yes, and the frequency to do that, everybody, is you. You are Capricorn, okay? By the way, uh, some things have changed, okay, during the last few days. And uh, I'm going to apply that uh, once I'm done with all the birth chart readings. And I will tell you about that because things have significantly changed. And uh, it means a lot, everybody. It means a lot. Um, okay. So this is your finance section, Ace of Cups Reverse. Others of you, uh, you have a toddler or children, and you're saying to your children, no, we're not going to buy anything anymore. And others of you, you had some addiction, right? It's your first baby, right? Or your second baby. You know how it goes, right? You start buying all these dresses, these cute little dresses, or these cute little shoes, you know. Before you know it, you have a whole collection, right? Couture, of course, right? And you're like, oh, my God, did I spend all that money, right? Well, you can easily sell it, of course. If you want to, GDT has given everything away. So it depends on what you want, right? Uh, for some of you, people will say, you're crazy. They said it to me too. Like, no, those are designer clothes for the toddler and the four, five, six, seven years old. Why are you giving that away? Yeah, I'm just like that. So maybe you're doing the same here because you don't need the money, right? Others of you, this is because you want other children, right, to have that beautiful, uh, you know, clothing. And others of you, this could literally be a garage sale, et cetera, okay? You're going to sell something here, okay? By the way, do not negotiate. Ace of Cups is reversed. There's no negotiation here regarding money, okay? Don't do it. Yes, what you deserve is what you deserve. Do not go below your negotiation. Yeah? Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. What else do we have here? Okay, let's see what we have here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, let's go to Korea. Here we go. Korea. We have the Ace of Wands here. Wow. So Korea, that's a new beginning here. That's a new opportunity here. Others of you just started a new job. Others of you, you want a new job. Maybe you're applying for a job or whatever this is. Sorry, I should say role, everybody. Job means suffering. We don't have a job. We have a role. We have a profession. Okay. So maybe you want a new role, a new profession, a new project, whatever this is, right? It's coming to us. You push through if you are applying for a job, okay? If you're sending out your resumes, others of you, you're pimping your resumes, right? You're making it uh, appropriate regarding the current situation that you're in. Others of you, you are customizing it to, uh, to the current situation or the job, yes? So you get this. You get this, okay? Ace of Wands, a total new beginning. If you just started your job, it looks like there is a lot to do. And with the Ace of Wands, you, uh, sorry, your profession, your role, you like it there, okay? You really like it because the Ace of Wands is, uh, you're being appreciated. Uh, people are excited, okay, to welcome you. And there is a lot to do that uh, is basically for you, right? 
it is for you. The salamander shows up here for a reason and not because of the wands. The salamander, everybody shows up because of the swords. So you do have the education. Others of you, you're doing a course uh, on your profession, right? Next to your, your uh, profession, you're doing education. So the Ace of Wands looks amazing here, okay? Really amazing. So that's uh, career. Let's go to education. And by the way, if you have Aries in your chart, um, Aries is quite beneficial for you right now, especially regarding the steps that you're making, also astrology-wise, okay? You're making huge steps here, okay? Huge steps if you have Aries in your chart. If this is an Aries colleague that you're working with or maybe this is your Aries uh, boss, it's a perfect combination. Amazing. Let's see. Let's see. Hey, beautiful Barbie. All of you, good to have you here, okay? Let's see. Uh, let's go to education. What do we have here regarding education? We have a Ten of Pentacles reverse, which is the Ace of Pentacles, the biggest coin in the deck. That's you, Capricorn energy. And the Ten of Pentacles, that's Virgo energy. Uh, so you are finishing up something here. You're almost there, so push through. Ten of Pentacles is, in this case, almost the end of an education. Then you're going to start something new. Others of you, I see you delaying or leaving a study behind or education course. You're going to start something new. Uh, you don't want to invest in it anymore. It's done with the Ten of Pentacles. could also be because you don't like the people or the students or the professors. It's like, no, I don't really like that. Others of you, this is not up to par. This is like a, a course or education where you feel that it's either boring or, you know, you don't find it interesting. You don't have any affinity. And others of you, this is an energy of you already knowing it. And then the Ten of Pentacles is reversed, right? Let's say that you work years in a daycare and then you're going to do the study. It's like easy peasy. You already know everything, right? Because you worked in a daycare, right? Uh, let's say you worked at a financial department, okay? And they're going to talk about write-off schemes, etc. You already know that. You work in a financial department, right? So something like that is going on here. I also see for some of you there's something here about potty training, your toddler or your child potty training. Uh, and maybe you want to be a nanny or, uh, you know, work in a daycare or start your own daycare. And I have something here about dogs, dog training, potty training, uh, children, okay? It's also, you would be amazing doing that, uh, Capricorns, for those who have a gift here for working with children, you would be amazing. So maybe you're already doing that, you're a teacher, a daycare, nanny, whatever you do here. Uh, any professional role regarding children is uh, literally here, okay, your life purpose, like literally. Uh, I also see something here about education and maybe your child or um, because it's reversed in education, but there's a child on it and housing. You could also be into interior design or anything that has to do with design. And uh, regarding education, this is a new approach that you have regarding a certain design or education or maybe even regarding your child. So um, it's the Ace of Pentacles, everybody, and the Ten of Pentacles is still a Nine of Pentacles. Regarding education, you're also being advised the courses, okay, uh, knowledge and wisdom to do this on your own this is an individualistic energy ten of pentacles is the community and as you know this is virgo energy this is never of course capricorn energy you are the ace and the two and three of pentacles capricorns are way too egocentrical okay to be a ten of pentacles do you care for people yes you do do you wait on them facilitate for them when it's time to eat etc yes you do but the ten of pentacles is also about constantly being in the, in the group that's not what you do right that's not your energy and um, what's quite interesting, of course, it's also not um, Virgo energy. And this uh, chest, by the way, is yours. That chest is yours. So some things are about to change, uh, Capricorns. And when we're done with the holy event, all those readings, I will, uh, I will read for you like that. Things are about to change. Okay. Um, another thing is also here, whether it's potty training for your child or puppy training regarding a dog or an animal that you have, be extra mindful about the uh, diet and the food and uh, drink cons uh, consuming, okay? And others of you, you're a dietist or something like that. You help people, you coach people regarding diets or you are a, a, a trainer, a physical instructor. And I also see that some of you, um, you train uh, women in a certain area, right? Regarding a specific topic. 
uh, there is a lot of money here, Capricorn. So whatever is happening here regarding um, education and also regarding career, profession, role, take this. This is yours, okay? A beautiful energy. Take this. Love it. Okay, let's continue. That was finance, career, education. Let's go to your health section right now. Yes, London G. <laughs> it's talking about a pup, little pup. Ah. The most beautiful little pup that I ever had, that was uh, together with my uh, Leah ex-husband, was a Rottweiler. Her name was Francesca. And uh, I, of course, inherited a dog that uh, my sister, she was uh, going to study law. And then she didn't want the dog anymore, uh, which is a poodle. And, of course, you know, I took over that dog, right? Because we're not going to, you know, just delete and remove uh, pets because, you know, we're going to study law, right? No, we're not going to do that. So, you know, I took over that beautiful dog and her name was Safi. Mm, Safi. Maybe the names are important. Francesca and Safi. Safi also means done over. Tutti frutti. Finito. Okay. And Safi is also smoking, right? Safi. Okay. Let's go to health. Let's go to your health area. Okay. Let's see. Health area, health area, health area, health area. <laughs> yeah, London G, that Rottweiler puppy, right? Ooh, that was a feisty one, okay? Woohoo! Health, you have the Knight of Cups here. Excellent. This is you hydrating yourself, drinking whatever is needed here. Others of you, you are also watching, okay? You're monitoring yourself. So if you drink wine or whiskey or whatever, right? You are monitoring, balancing that. Others of you, you're good regarding your water here. Knight of Cups is also taking really good care of your emotions. You see? You're ready to go on the other side. You're looking at me, by the way, right now. And you're saying, GDT, is it safe? Is it safe? Can I go to the other side? Of course you can. Of course you can, darling, darling. Capricorns. Ciao, Angelica. Good to have all of you. Kehela, Sonia. <laughs> Good to have you in the chat, everybody. Yes. Welcome. Welcome home. Welcome back. Beautiful Capricorns. Yeah. So regarding your health here, there's a beautiful energy here of a nine of cups, which is, of course, your water energy. And this is the emotional part. So you're being quite aware of what emotions do to you, how you manage your emotions, etc. And uh, for some of you, you know this also because of your birth chart reading, right? 250 euros or in your 100 euros, right? You get advice uh, of me in there, which is, of course, based on your birth chart reading. Quite uh, uh, specific and, of course, uh, uh, practical so uh, for loads of you it's helping you right and others of you there's something else that you're doing here that's really beneficial for you and again everybody if you haven't bought your birth chart reading yet trust me you will love it check below in the description box treat yourself on one spoil yourself on one uh, regarding the holy event but this is for your whole life and next lifetimes so you're gonna love it okay so this looks all amazing beautiful capricorns the same cup that you have in health section right is in finance, that cup is reversed. Are you noticing that? What does it mean? Really simple. Uh, it means that you don't want to waste your water. This could also be an electricity bill or a water bill or, you know, anything that has to do with energy, right? You don't want to waste it. So you're quite uh, aware of how many uh, energy you are using and what it means regarding your own constellation and your own, uh, let's say, um, input and output and exchange with other people, right? So this looks quite good. Yes, by the way, for some of you, I see that at your home, you are working on something. This is either a creative project, could be art, could be uh, drawings or paintings, whatever this is, sculptures. Others of you um, could even be woodwork, right? So this is like uh, really beautiful sculptures that you make out of uh, any material that you can think of. Others of you, your carpenter, you make beautiful uh, wooden uh, furniture. Just like Jesus, right? And by the way, just like my dad, Aquarius dad, he was an amazing carpenter. Oh, he was so many things. He made the most beautiful furniture, everybody, with the details, right, that you see in India, right, with all the beautiful gods and goddesses. Oh, ay, ay, ay. And of course, the most amazing uh, drawings and uh, paintings he made. He was uh, so many things, right? Also a sculptor, a carpenter, and an artist, and also a jazz ballet dancer. Yeah. And, of course, bhajans, gospel, singing. Oh, I love that man. There's a holy event going on right now, beautiful Capricorns. 
And uh, for those who received your birth chart reading, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Also regarding your ancestors, right? Yeah. Um, now, uh, let's continue. Because it's safe for you to go on the other side, okay? You can make that move, whatever this is. You can make that change with the Knight of Cups in your health section. It's good. You're stable. You're secure. Others of you, um, I see in your house that um, uh, you're changing something. Maybe the curtains or uh, maybe you're literally drilling or you need to create some holes to uh, hang something up or something like that. I have that too, yeah? And uh, for you to go on the other side, it's really simple, everybody. You need to look straight ahead. Don't look at me. Look straight ahead. Look. You already know where you're going, okay? Just look forward, everybody. Like the German people say, immer gerade aus. Say it. Immer gerade aus. You don't learn new words. You learn new languages on GDT's YouTube channels. Yes, you do. By the way, everybody, say hi to YouTube. Yes, hi to YouTube is always watching, so we got to say hi, YouTube. Hey, YouTube, thank you for watching, and thank you for helping out with the channel. So good to have you here, YouTube. You're such a lifesaver. YouTube is such a lifesaver, right? Thank you, YouTube, okay, for being here and watching. Also, the, the guy with the glasses. Oh, he's such a lovely guy. Yes. So, uh, YouTube, look in the chat. We all say hi, YouTube. Hello, YouTube. Good to have you here, okay? Now, uh, and we're not going to do a shout-out to YouTube, right? This is not a shout-out. This is hello, a straight up hello, hi. Okay, let's continue. So that's finance, career, education, health. Let's go to your love section. Yes, love section means uh, your view, your perspective regarding love. Uh, outside of you, uh, platonic, romantic, but also inside of you, right? So let's see what we have for you. Beautiful Capricorns. Give me a message, please, for love. Give me a message, please, for love, 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 love. Love, 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 love. There we go. You have the Page of Pentacles reversed here. Yeah. Um, the Page of Pentacles reversed is a Knight of Pentacles. So, uh, and it's also, you know, no Page of Pentacles, right? Some of you, you're celibate. You're really not investing anything in love. You're good to go. Uh, others of you, you have accepted that you're going to be single for quite some time. Maybe you want children. You're like, no, nah, you know, whenever it comes, it comes. Others of you, you do have children and you say, you know what? It's about me and the kids. And that's enough. And uh, this is how I get my peace, my sanity, right? And uh, the, the shifting that you're doing here regarding what you really desire, everybody, is about you. It's about you, 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 you. And if you have children, also your children. Uh, the page of Pentacles regarding love is also that you don't want to deal with people that are broke. They don't have a life. They don't have security, stability. They have issues with their money. You know, they have issues with their ex, their children. You want healthy energy of a Knight of Cups. A Knight of Cups in your health section, by the way, is also, of course, rejuvenating. We never get old, right, Capricorns? It is only uh, given as a gift of blessing to the Capricorns. No other zodiac sign has that, just like karma. That's ours, nobody else. Why? Because of Saturn. Really simple. The Saturn-Capricorn combination. This is why it's only for the Capricorns, right? So, um, yeah, I don't have you investing here in love, uh, Capricorns. If you are with somebody here right now, if you are struggling, it looks like you're setting boundaries here because you want the commitment. So you're saying to somebody, listen, where's the ring? Where's the commitment? You're not going to give it to me. We're not in a relationship, right? And you know what I've said, right? It's a beautiful Jewish verse, everybody, which is uh, a man's house is his wife, regardless of the gender. Think about it. A man's house is his wife. I already told you to journal about that. The more you journal about that first, everybody, the more you're going to realize when you are with somebody, like, what the hell are you doing there with that person? A man's house is his wife. You're not somebody's wife. You're not somebody's husband, everybody. What the hell are you doing there? Really simple. Yes. Use that beautiful Jewish verse, okay, as a guidance in your life. A man's house is his wife. And then you will understand how much efforts, time, and love, and tears, and sadness, and angry. What are, you, what are you investing in if you have that? Are you in a relationship or are you in a situationship? Think about it, okay? Others of you, you're saying, I know GDT, and this is why the page of pentacles is reversed. If you have children, by the way, some of you are a little bit frustrated because you have to do everything alone. 
That's the dog. The dog could be important Chinese astrology sign for some of you. Uh, and others of you, um, there could be some issues, okay, with daycare on just managing, you know, life as a single parent. Yeah? But you will be just fine. Uh, by the way, I also see regarding love, okay, I see you being angry at uh, a nanny or at daycare because uh, they're not uh, changing the diapers timely, right? So your uh, toddler or your baby has a lot of rash, uh, rashes there. And I see you making a statement here and just saying, listen, I ain't going to pay a ten of pentacles here if my child is not, uh, you know, receiving good quality care here, right? Which is, of course, normal, right? So uh, amazing that you're doing that. Yes, really good that you're doing that. Let's see, what else do we have here? What else do we have? So with the finance, career, education, health, lab, let's go to spirituality, sexuality, sensuality, and beauty. Spirituality. Let's see. Spirituality. We have a page of swords here, which is a knight of swords. You have two pages here. Interesting. Regarding love and spirituality, there is a clear statement that you're making here, Capricorns, because you're sick and tired of all these people, right? Just being pages or knights. By the way, bottom of the deck, you are the empress. So, you know, what is an empress or an emperor going to do, everybody, with uh, pages? Really simple, right? That's the message here. So, um, you don't want to know. You don't want to find out. You don't want to explore. You don't want to research this. You're saying, just leave me alone, right? And then you're good to go. So, unless there is a potential partner coming on your way that's mature, you're good to go. Otherwise, you're not going to do anything, right? It's a quite a, uh, it's a hard requirement. It's a hard prerequisite. Without this prerequisite, right? Mm -mm. You're saying no relationship. So you're quite done with that. Also, in your spiritual section, you have the page of swords reversed here, yeah? um, which is also a knight of swords, okay? So um, I will check in a moment what that is about. Because a knight of swords could also mean that you feel attacked or you feel that somebody's spying on you, gang stalking, of course. If you are a spiritual practitioner, everybody, this is normal, okay? This is what people do, especially if you're good. If you're a good spiritual practitioner, right? You have a beautiful family like we have, right? Look in the chat. Some of you are even meeting up, right? Outside of the YouTube channels, right? You're FaceTiming with each other. You're emailing each other. You're calling each other, right? Uh, like DJ Oscar and Annette. By the way, DJ Oscar is Annette doing well. I don't think I've seen her for quite some time in my readings, right? Uh, but uh, DJ Oscar and Annette uh, is one of them, but also Sydney, right? Uh, I think with Angie, if I'm correct. And also Silver, right, that got into a relationship with a Capricorn. Uh, I haven't seen them ever, okay, so they must be doing well, right? No news is good news, right? <laughs> no news is good news. No news is good news. But, uh, you know, my YouTube channels have uh, the gift, everybody, and the blessing for people really to connect with each other. We're really a family, right? So if you're saying, uh, that's me, GDT, uh, I am a spiritual practitioner, or I feel that somebody's spiritually trying to attack uh, me, blah, 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 I have that here. And others of you, you block people here with the Page of Swords, you know, for your own sanity. And because you want to have that peace, right? Uh, okay, there's something here about bands. I don't know, bands? B-A-N-D? That could be anything, right? Bands? B-A-N-D? Or Andy? Or Andrew? Andrea? Andrea Bocelli? Time to say goodbye, right? Andrea Bocelli, Andrea Bocelli, right? Yeah, others of you, Pavarotti is here, right? Pavarotti is here, okay, let's see. Let's go to sexuality. What do we have for you here, sexuality? Wow, the king of swords is reversed. Um, for loads of you, this is how you spiritually and sexually get your peace. Like literally, you're done with all these little boys, little girls, right? The wannabes have nothing, no nada, niente to offer you. And others of you, you have made a decision to cut somebody off or you will do that. Because um, you feel that something spiritually and sexually is just not good for you. It's really not good because the king of swords reverses quite some energy, okay? 
King of Swords reversed is also, uh, of course, narcissistic energy, right? This is when people are, you know, uh, you know how it go, right? They're bombarding you with flowers, gifts, jewelry, and kisses and hugs and messages. And before you know it, they're gone, right? Typical narcissistic energy, right? Typical, 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 right? Um, so yeah, if you're done with that, it's really strong here. And the King of Swords is also uh, reversed a Queen of Swords. So uh, if you're in a Queen of Swords mode regarding sexuality, it looks like you're having a good time here for those who are having, you know, a sexual good time. Because the, the Queen of Swords in the upright with sex uh, related, everybody is, you know, talk dirty to me, baby. <laughs> talk dirty to me, baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Others of you, somebody has, of course, a sexy voice, right? And for loads of you Capricorns, this is your reading. So, you know, it looks like you have a beautiful, sexy voice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Capricorns, yes. I just if you this is what you love, right? Somebody needs to have a good voice. If it's it, 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 not a good voice, everybody, you're like, you know, you have these people, like I said many times, right? They so badly want to be Kim Kardashian, right? Like, yeah, you know, oh, 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 oh. No, you're too intelligent for that, right? For that voice. <laughs> you're way too intelligent for that voice. You are, of course, the genius girl, right? When you are on any of my YouTube channels. So let's see. Hey, Eclipse, all of you, good to have you here, okay? Hey, Robert, Taz, all of you, Rainbow Ra, uh, Van der Westhuizen. What is your first name, darling? Ronel? Ronel or Ranel? Van der Westhuizen. Are you Dutch, darling? Good to have you here, okay? Whether you're Dutch or not, but Van der Westhuizen is typically a Dutch name. Uh, let's go to your next message, which is sensuality. Let's see, sensuality. Ten of Swords is reversed. Oh, spiritually sexual, sensual. <laughs> so you're making a statement here, Capricorns. Voila, what are you doing here? That is a lot of uh, Sodom. We say in Suriname, everybody, uh, Suriname. Suriname, eh, eh, da, 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 da. Suriname, eh, yeah, yeah. Latin America, yes, above Brazil, below the Caribbean. Uh, we say no me crap. Tongo, it means you you better not you better not kid around with uh, you, you don't kid around with uh, the Capricorns, okay? You don't do that. Mm -mm. Not now, not ever. So spirituality, sexuality, sensuality, you're done. This is over. It's done. You don't want nothing to do. No, it's not in ente. You're done. There is no way for you to ever talk to somebody again, to uh, connect to somebody ever again, or to do something ever again. You're not going to do it. This is a huge no. Why? Because you're only accepting huge yes. Isn't that lovely? Isn't this lovely when you say no to this, you get the yes, 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 and you are also receiving a kiss, Capricorn, because you said no, things are going exactly in the flow that you want it to be. Da -da 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 Done. That's your song, right? We don't do any songs in the beginning, right? I hardly do that because, you know, we work with the Lord, with God, a Father in Heaven. Your song shows up, everybody, and then, of course, I customize it to the energy, right, that's on the table. Hmm. So uh, let's see uh, regarding beauty. What do you have here regarding beauty? Okay, maybe swords again. I don't know. Let's see. Beauty, please. Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. Maybe you're done with the Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. Others of you, you have it in your chart, right? Leo shows up with a five of wands. I'm going to put it back. Give me one message about beauty, please. Strength is really <laughs> Leo says, listen, I'm also the lion, okay? Uh, you can put the five of wands back, but, you know, I'm going to show up as the lion. But the lion is reversed, so. Uh, I don't know what's going on between you and a Leo, but uh, it's a Leo. Uh, for some of you, jealous of your beauty. Others of you, you have beautiful Leo, right, in your chart, right? You do. So, you know, Leo is the most beautiful next to Taurus. They rule beauty. 
If you have it in your chart, oh, that's a lot of jealousy here. Others of you, this is a Leo that's jealous of you. And this is somebody who says, but I'm a Leo. You're not a Leo, but it looks like you're more beautiful than the Leo. So, you know, I don't know why. Maybe you're a model because other than that, why would you care? All right. <laughs> I mean, if you're a model, you know, it's obvious that these discussions will be there. But, you know, most of you, you know, you're a CEO, CTO, CFO, right? You're a manager, right? You're working towards that. I mean, you don't care about your beauty, right? You work, you work hard and you study hard and uh, this is what you're focusing on, right? So um, let's see what we have in the middle, okay? Yes. By the way, any of the signs that I just mentioned, everybody, if you're not together, they're still busy with your body, mind, and soul, definitely, okay? Definitely. So let's see in the middle. What do we have in the middle here? An overall energy for the beautiful Capricorns. An overall energy for the beautiful Capricorns. We have the Five of Swords reversed, you see? Now, who's, uh, who's going to, you know... I'm not even going to say win or conquer because that whole area is, of course, you know, useless energy, right? A five of swords reverses a four of swords. And by the way, if you noticed, everybody, there's lots of swords here. Strength reverses also, uh, it's temptation and it's also draining energy. So the five of swords is saying, you know what, I give up. Not because you lose, not because you win, but because you find your peace so important. And this is what uh, mature people do, right? Mature people do this. We're not in here for winning, for losing, for ego. We just want our peace, right? And this is when you are in a four of swords. A six of swords is also peace, everybody. A four of swords is when you are reflecting inwards. And a six of swords is when you are moving and you're going outwards. And you have both of the energies because the five of swords is reversed. So there's nothing here to win. There's nothing to lose. There's nothing to conquer. There's nothing. Nothing, no, it's not a niente, nichts. Totally, absolute zero. So um, we don't do zeros, right? We don't do the zeros, everybody, right? So you want it all. And uh, you're making quite a statement here. Um, let's shovel again and see what's at the bottom of the deck, okay? By the way, I see Libra just showing up here and the Ace of Swords. Four of Wands is here. Also, uh, the Hermit uh, Aquarius shows up. Why? Because these cards are open, you see. And this is, by the way, Libra. You might have it in your chart. You're dealing with one. This is Aquarius energy. Let's see. Give me two messages below the deck, please. Below the deck. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, you have the High Priestess reversed. Definitely gang stalking. And Three of Cups. Definitely, okay. It's reversed. So, you know, uh, Capricorns, it's part, right? When you do your job really good, people are going to copycat you. They're going to gangstalk you. They're literally going to say what you said, right? Literally words that you're using. So they're making a fool out of themselves, right? But hey, you know, apparently they, uh, you know, they like that, everybody. They get a kick out of it. They get a high out of it. And we let them, right? Because we sent them laugh. Because, you know, next to being highly insecure, of course, they like laugh, right? They don't uh, have the love that you have. You received it from your dad, from your mother, from your father, from your sister, from your brother, from your auntie, your uncle, whomever you received it from, right? They don't have that. So this is why, everybody, they like laugh, and this is why we sent them laugh. We sent you laugh, okay, for all those people that are gang stalking or want you to fail. Now, uh, you are definitely not failing here, and maybe somebody says, ha, 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 uh, Capricorn is not reacting anymore, ha, 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 Capricorn cannot be triggered, ha, ha, ha. I don't know what the ha-ha-ha is about, but uh, the joke's on them, everybody, because the more they invest in you, look, you're busy here with the Ten of Pentacles. Hello, Ace of Pentacles, biggest coin of the deck, that's you. So you're busy with this, Nine of Pentacles, looking good, smelling good, right? It's reversed. So the more they do that, everybody, uh, yeah. Certain moment, they're 60, everybody. When you're 60, 70, right? Look, you have everything, anything that you want. This person is still busy with you. It's living in a caravan or in a trailer trash park or something like that, right? They haven't made the progress, everybody, and you will have done that, yes. So you have something to look forward to, right? Yeah, you do. The High Priestess with the Three of Cups reversed is also people don't like it that you get a lot of attention here. 
So this is people praising you, okay, with the Three of Cups and the High Priestess. And then the Five of Swords is somebody who wants you to defeat or is wishing on your downfall, talking negative, right? Uh, negativity, everybody, only creates more negativity. This is why we do love, God, creation, repeat. Love, God, creation, repeat. This is what we do on my channels, right? So you're staying away from negativity um, because that somebody gets even more uh, angry. Yeah. So um, we're at almost 50 minutes. You can ask me questions, everybody. When you show up in the chat, I can interact with you, right? Ask me questions for all the Capricorns regarding anything that I said here, where you said, nah, you know, GDT, I want to know something about that. You can also get the confrontational messages here. Oh, maybe we should do that too. Shall we do that first? Uh, I'm going to give you one message about a zodiac sign that you're dealing with. We're going to focus on romantic love. It could also be platonic. So the family member, co-worker, friend, love, interest, ask the butcher, the neighbor. That's up for you to decide, okay? Let's give you a confrontational message. Whatever your situation is, you're together, you're not together, you're struggling, you're in a beautiful relationship. Do not make it fit if it's not your storyline, okay? Yeah? So here we go. Let's see. Let's see. We're going to start with Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo is next. Then we're going to work with Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, and we finish with Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah? Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Any other question? Keep spamming me in the chat, okay? I can ask that for all of you. Oh? Somebody wants to say this. If there is no human doubt, there is no answer from the Holy Spirit. Listen carefully. If there is no human doubt, there is no answer from the Holy Spirit. So if you're doubting yourself, there's a reason why you are doubting yourself. If somebody is making you doubt, then listen to the answer from the Holy Spirit. Okay? So let's see. Here we go. I'm going to split the deck right now. Okay, Capricorn. Capricorn says, don't be a B.I.H. What's our vision and why do we clash? Future. Um, Taurus says, you're not my twin flame, for even flames pale against my passion. Ooh. <laughs> This is Taurus, okay? Listen. Taurus says, you're not my twin flame, for even flames pale against my passion. Love that one. And Taurus also says, the Lord is my strength and shield. Our heart trusts the Lord. Love this one, okay? Jesus. Virgo. Why does this last feel so profound? I have a Virgo that's mourning about you, and don't leave me. Sagittarius. Sagittarius says, you scare me. And Sagittarius says, why are we clashing over this project? Work, workaholics. Ari says, I hate your family. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> There's nothing behind it, okay? I hate your family. Ooh. Leo says, hey, Amber, hey, darling. Leo says, don't walk away. Why do we disagree on social plans? Social life could be an issue. There's something about 10 minutes past 12 or 12.15. Gemini says, put a lid on it. There's nothing behind Uh, Aquarius says at any given moment you have the power to say this is not how the story is going to end Libra says you make me sick well isn't that a surprise <laughs> Pisces says our wounds eventually turn into wisdom but do not control me uh, cancer says, can we reconcile what led us to this parting path breakup? And Scorpio says, 
Don't play games and mind your words. I'm going to do something else. This is for you. A message for you. Could be confrontational for you. If you have it anywhere in your chart, any of the zodiac signs in your chart, it's your message, okay? This is for you. This is for you to work with the message. You can journal also about this message. It's for you. It's about you. It's your own behavior, your own perspective, okay? Whatever that means for you. And again, it could be confrontational. Do not make it fit if it's, uh, you know, not fitting. And write it in your journal if you want to do something uh, with it, okay? Okay, here we go. If you have Capricorn in your chart, you, for you, a message for you about you. Uh, you will find out something. Uh, free the people. Focus on the uh, sun. And uh, there's something about uh, Amanda and Boston. There's also something here about uh, enlightenment. And there's something going on here about your left ear that's ringing. If you have Taurus in your chart. You've replaced somebody here. Red is a good color for you. Uh, Pac-Man, play the, uh, the game Pac-Man. Uh, you're channeling God. Uh, you're soon ready to take off to a distance uh, and a journey that you're going to like. And others of you, it's ballerina time. If you have a uh, Virgo in your chart, you mag hier gewoon komen, hoor, mooie vrouw. Oh jee. Why are we fighting? <laughs> This is Dutch. Je mag hier gewoon komen, hoor, mooie vrouw. And it's also why are we fighting? It means you can just come over, you know. I won't bite you. Whatever that means for you. This is about you. You can just come over, beautiful woman, it says. Uh, Sagittarius, if you have Sagittarius in your chart, we are talking about each other when we talk about God. And you drive me crazy. If you have Aries in your chart, let's make a baby. Okay. <laughs> if you have Leo in your chart, I lied. So what? Oh, <laughs> Capricorns. If you have Gemini in your chart, insert coin, please. Game over. If you have Aquarius in your chart, I put a spell on you. Now, did you do that? Ooh. <laughs> Or you believe that somebody put a spell on you, right? Take it however it's resonating. Uh, Libra, if you have Libra in your chart, you can't treat me like this. Together we can conquer worlds. Uh, Pisces, if you have Pisces in your chart, I know. Now what? And the greatest never-ending love story ever told in real time. If you have Cancer in your chart, you never listen. A new love is a beautiful journey. And if you have Scorpio in your chart, a message for you, about you, I feel safe with you. Maybe we should this often, right? The zodiac signs that you're dealing with and just one, uh, one message, okay? By the way, overall message for all of you, all zodiac signs. Even in darkness, you are still my light. So, now, I'm going to take a light, everybody, card. This is for those who had your birth chart reading and for those who did not buy your birth chart reading, okay? Um, if you already received your birth chart reading, then you know what the message is about. If you are looking forward to receive your birth chart reading, and I already did the list in the beginning, everybody, uh, then you can look forward to this uh, light, okay? Um, and of course, light, everybody, is frequency, right? So uh, let's see. And others of you, you didn't buy it, everybody. Uh, I'm also going to give you a beautiful frequency, okay? And a frequency uh, of light. Okay, here we go. Let's see. For those who bought your birth chart reading, Uh, or the 100 euros uh, holy event reading. This is yours. And for those who did not buy it, this is yours. Let's see what we have here. For those who did not buy it, you have healing here. Oh, look at this angel. Look at this light, everybody. Just have a moment to reflect on this. Look here at this angel, okay? Look at the darkness fading away because there is a huge light coming in, right? It says, by the way, uh, healing, right? So, also number five. So, if you have Taurus in your chart, you're dealing with the Taurus. 
um, but the message here is that um, you're focused, and this is also the message that we saw here on this side, right? Cutting out people or setting your boundaries is more than ever important, right? And you're doing that. Others of you, this is the benefits, right? You're in here, this situation. You like where you are right now. The angels are here. You're also working with angels. You feel that you're being carried by your angels in the arms of your angel was also your previous reading, right? Um, there's an amazing energy here where you feel like uh, there's light through the darkness and more important uh, that you can influence it, right? So those who are good to go, you're amazing. You're good to go. Keep doing this. Others of you, you're working towards this. You're in progress, okay, regarding receiving this energy and working with this energy. Yeah? Others of you, you bought the 100 euros birth chart reading, right? The holy event that's going on right now, everybody. Trust me, it won't happen again. Not in 100 years, not in 200 years. It's a one-off, okay? If you want to buy one, check below in the description box. Treat yourself, spoil yourself with that reading. I will not disappoint you. For people who receive it, trust me, you will not be disappointed. They, all, they already received it. They are amazed by it. People are even paying me hundreds, hundreds, hundreds of euros extra as a donation. Per person I'm talking about, okay? You're going to love it. For those who want it, your 250 euro birth chart reading, your 100 euros birth chart reading, you are awaiting it or you recently received it, right? Let's see. Uh, Capricorns, look at you. You know exactly what this is, right? If you received your 100 euros birth chart reading or the 250 already, or you are about to receive it, this is you, right, uh, regarding, of course, meditation, but there's much more going on, right, regarding what I will tell you regarding the holy events. And then you see all this love, right? You're literally uh, making a stand here and you're literally connecting to this energy. Beautiful energy, right? Gorgeous energy. By the way, uh, Angie, when you see color change, everybody, I have a light here. I keep saying that. I have a light here, everybody, with colors. There's nothing special going on, okay, <laughs> if you think that. I have a light here. It says blue light, purple light, uh, a yellow light, and then it just switches, everybody. You know, the GDT lost her gadgets, right? So I have different kind of gadgets in, uh, in my house. You might even wonder, what do you have in your bedroom? <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Hey, salam, shalom, namaste, khuda, hafiz, khodesh, hafiz, all of you, okay, that just joined. <laughs> no, the light is always changing, everybody, okay? And the light that I have here, that's just one thing. You should see the light, the lamp itself. It is so Capricorn worthy. All of you, it's a huge, luxurious lamp, and you're all going to love it. But I'm not going to show it, right? Because uh, it's a kind of a private thing. But it's so Capricorn worthy, you're going to love it. And of course, it's made from marble, right? Real marble, right? From India, the most expensive uh, marble that you can think of. And it's so Capricorn worthy. You're going to love that lamp. But uh, this is why the colors are changing. Just so you know, okay? You're not seeing light or whatever that is. Um, in this case, by the way, um, for those who are uh, have bought your birth chart reading, um, you also know uh, why the energy here is, uh, you know, Black, right? Dark. And you also know why this is light. Right? Uh, it's the holy event. Holy event always has to do with darkness versus light. Right? But in this case, there is a special event. And there's something special about it. Also, the practical advice that I give you based on your birth chart. Right? So, it's customized totally for you, only for you. Right? Uh, so, uh, again, everybody, if you want to buy one, you will not be disappointed, everybody. It's a one-off holy event. It won't happen in 10, 20, 30, 100 years. The time is now to spoil yourself, and it will have an impact for all your next reincarnations, all your next lifetimes, and that's only happening now. After that, it won't happen again. I'm going to sell them, everybody, until the 17th, maybe the 18th, and then it's done. Why the 18th, everybody? It's not the end of the holy event. But I have to do a lot of uh, manual work, right? Because it's based on Vedic Brahman astrology. I am the daughter of a Brahman priest. And this is why my birth chart reading are selling amazing. Yes. I'm going to give you some final messages. Beautiful Capricorns. And um, I'm going to give you nine cards, okay? You can give you, you can choose a number, everybody. You can choose them all. And I'm going to give you some extra blessings here. 
I won't be able to do Leah or Sagittarius because I'm overloaded with the birth chart readings. Yes. And like I said, if you bought a 250 euros, I'm first going to do the 100 euros so you get your messages timely regarding the holy event. Okay. And after that, I will add the uh, rest of the, uh, the 250 euros birth chart reading. Yes. Average uh, 250 birth chart reading is around uh, two, between two and four hours. Okay. And the 100 euros is around an hour. Uh, let's say 45 minutes, an hour of messages, okay? And again, the 100 euros is only for the holy event. You are going to get some beautiful birth chart messages. Nobody will give you that. Trust me, they won't. Uh, but it's not a full birth chart reading. And those who have ordered already, you received it already also. Ooh, you are amazed by it, right? So let's go. Let's give you nine cards here, everybody. Choose a number. Pick a number. Let's give you nine cards. Beautiful Capricorns. Here we go. Nine cards. First card that wants to come out. Number one. Wow, you have uh, Anubis uh, Osiris here, okay? You also have Toad here. Egyptian energy is important. Wow. Um, if you chose number one, Virgo is also important. Birth years, 1989, 1998 is important. Um, others of you, of course, you have Egyptian DNA, right? Others of you, you've been there, right? Others of you, you've been there with me, right? GDT was there last year. And I was live while I was in uh, Egypt. And, of course, I did a Brahmin Vedic ritual, Orthodox, for all of us, right, with good intentions. So uh, if you're seeing the blessings, everybody, there's a Nine of Pentacles coming in, or you're already living your Nine of Pentacles. Really simple message here. If you bought your birth chart reading, <laughs> number one, right, you know what this is about, right? And it's not about Egypt or anything else. You just look at the card and you see something, right? That's important. Look really good and you understand what I'm talking about, right? And again, it has nothing to do with Egypt. Okay, so if you birth your birth chart reading, you're good, okay? Wow, you're doing really good here, number one. Woo. Okay, number two. Number two, if you, if you chose number two. You have the gift reversed here, okay? Uh, somebody's saying that your gifts don't work anymore or your gifts are stolen. It doesn't work like that, okay? Only negative, low vibrational people, copycats and haters will tell you that your gifts can be taken away. Your gifts can never be taken away. You know why? Because A, they're not God. B, they're not God. And C, they're not God, okay? So you still have your gifts here, okay? Yeah? You don't have to be afraid that your gifts are gone or whatever this is. Your gifts are given by God, and God decides about your gifts, nobody else. Number 17 might also be important, 18 or 16 with number two. Others of you, uh, somebody wants to gift you something, they are afraid to give it to you. They're shy or afraid. So somebody has a ring or a piece of jewelry, they have a gift for you. They're waiting for the right moment, or they're too shy to give it to you. I also have a secret crush if you chose number two. Yes? Uh, by the way, if you chose number two and you have long hair, wear it in a ponytail. You might be wondering why. Wear it in a ponytail, especially if you bought the 100 euros birth chart reading or 250 birth chart reading. Number two, wear your hair in a ponytail if you can, of course, right? Okay, number three. If you chose number three, I have the moon here. Hijo de la luna, hija de la luna, daughter or son of the moon. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio is, of course, here. Number 32, 31, 33. Number 7, 8, or 9 is here. Uh, I have a return here. Okay? Uh, the night is here. The day is here. The way you process things um, is important. For some of you, it also has to do with your earrings, your jewelry, your necklace, your bracelet, or your, um, your uh, rings, everybody. Whatever this is about number uh, three, make sure, okay, that if you have something from your ancestor that you wear it. Bear with me. I'm going to take a sip of my coffee. If you have something from your ancestors, please wear it. Also, if it's a T-shirt or whatever, okay? Um, if you chose number three, by the way, you have a child that is a psychic, a medium already. They're really small, right? Uh, not as if you, this is you, and your child has inherited, or your child will definitely inherit it. This is the psychic, the medium, okay, the spiritual practitioner also, and it started already when you were a beautiful little child. Others of you, there's a lot of things going on in your dreams. For some of you, you're wondering why you keep having the same dream, right? 
Some of you are wondering, why do I have the same dream again here? Others of you, you smoke weed, right? And somebody might have an objection to that, uh, you know, whether somebody's pro or con, you don't give a monkey's F, right? Because for the loads of you who are using weed, you use it as a medicinal, right? Uh, purpose, right? Regardless of the other nice, uh, you know, uh, side effects. Um, I also see that you're making a statement because you're saying, I don't want that stuff around my child. You're right. It's not good for the child. It's good, you know, for uh, adults. They can use it in any shape or form that they want to use it, right? And everybody knows their limits, of course. But uh, regarding a child, this is not good. There's also something going on if you chose number three in the bedroom of the child, okay? Especially I'm talking about toddlers or babies. Um, okay. Okay. For the Arabian and Asian people, you forgot to do a ritual. Do you know what I'm talking about? You need to make sure that you do that ritual. Indian people, you know about sanskars. Arabian people, you know when the child is born. Also Indian people, when the child is born, we do something special, right? You have to do that again because it wasn't done appropriately. Also constellation-wise, um, when you did what you need to do for the child, this is only for the Asian and the Arabian people, okay? You know what I'm talking about. We're not going to say that because it's orthodox, right? And, uh, you know, it's for you. It's for the culture, right? You have to do it again because astrology-wise, something wasn't aligned correctly. And because of that, the ritual that you did wasn't, uh, it wasn't absorbed. So if you are Asian, if you are Indian, or if you are in a relationship with an Indian or Asian person, then you know exactly what this ritual is about. Repeat it, please, for your child, especially if it's a toddler or a baby. Okay? It also has to do with the bedroom. Yes. Uh, by the way, your child is not crazy, okay? Okay, your child is not crazy. Your child is showing up here as yours. The mountain is here, that's Capricorn. And the king of swords is reversed. Your child is seeing a, a figure that has uh, passed over everybody that wants to connect to the child. Also, if your child has an imaginary friend, please don't judge the child. Make an extra plate for the child, for the imaginary friend. Okay. Is there a threat here? No, there is no threat. You don't need to be afraid, okay, that your child is going to get hurt. But you do need to make sure that your child, the toddler or the baby, okay, needs to receive the proper rituals. And uh, if you are uh, Arabian or if you are Asian, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Or you're with this person. Or you have these roots, okay? Now, for those who don't have those roots, don't go experimenting, everybody, because I told you, right, for instance, a mantra. If you're going to say the mantra, everybody, you need to do it in Sanskrit, otherwise it's a curse. If you do say it in Sanskrit, you have never read the Mahabharat, Bhagavad Gita, Ramayan. You don't speak Sanskrit. You just repeat, it's a curse, everybody. You're going to have the other effect. So be mindful, okay? Don't just do stuff that people say, do this, do that. No, 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 no. You don't know what it's about, everybody. You know, don't do it. Don't do it, everybody. Um, so this is an important message, okay? And all of you, uh, if this is not your baby, your toddler, this is you. You need to repeat a uh, ritual again. Others of you, you bought your 100 euros birth chart reading or your 250 euros birth chart reading. There is a connection, okay, in that reading. Yes, if you already bought it, you received it, you're good to go because you know exactly what to do. I've given you all the advice what to do, right, how to do it. And uh, for those who are feeling this and you want to do something with it, right, buy yourself that 100 euros birth chart reading at least. Uh, especially if you are the child, okay, that was able as a young child toddler okay to see things psychic mediums imaginary friend talking to uh you know a ghost right uh that's number three lots of messages with number three. Oh, and the final message is that uh number three the moon is reversed right that's the contaminated cross-contaminated moon everybody it is uh, of course right black magic and etc that people are doing on you don't worry you are protected yes when god has you nobody can touch you really simple Okay, let's continue, everybody. Let's do another one here. Number four. If you chose number four, the fox is here. The fox is gone. You chased away the fox. Okay, others of you are going to find out how, the, how do the fox is. Who is this fox? You will find out. For some of you, it's a Sagittarius. The Sagittarius is the fox. Sagittarius is trying to steal from you. The Sagittarius is waiting until you're gone, does stuff right that is against you, is hurting you. Number 14 or 41 could also be important. 
Others of you, the name Reinhardt or Reni or Rinaldo or Regina, anything with R-E is important, okay, regarding number four. That's the fox. Others of you, that's your name. You know who the fox already is. And others of you, it's a Sagittarius, it's a Scorpio or even a Capricorn. Be extra mindful, okay? What's the blessing here? Uh, the thief is gone, but you do know, right, that the thief always comes back, right? The thief always comes back, everybody. So uh, you can expect this person to come back. If you have set up cameras or whatever security measure, you will catch this person or you already did, right? Um, there's also something going on here with the Rhein. Reinhardt is also a, a German or a European name, right? Or a Celtic name, I should say, or a German name, right? Germans, as in the German uh, cultures. So I'm not talking about Germany only, but uh, the German uh, tribes before Germany was even created, right? So then you have the Celtic, the the Welsh, you have uh, the Norse, etc., right? I have that too. For some of you, this is where you descend from, right? So these are the Vikings. These are the Celtics, right? These are also the, the Welsh people. Uh, these are the, the Germans, the, the German, right, uh, energies here which is a lovely energy, right? If you chose number four, by the way, how beautifully connected you are to the dragon, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, you are. You are beautifully connected to the dragon. Uh, if you have Norse or uh, Welsh or Celtic uh, roots, everybody, which is England, you know, it's Scotland, it's Germany, it's also the Netherlands, you know. It's also Roman, everybody, and Greece, okay? There was a whole line, everybody, uh, that was uh, lined up in ancient times uh, regarding uh, the defense line. And that defense line, everybody, was made uh, because, uh, yeah, every time they were conquering new land, right? And it was needed, everybody, also to uh, pledge uh, loyalty and honor to uh, the Caesar, right? So I'm going into really things that have to do with ancient history, right? Uh, loads of you, you know my channel. This is much more than a tarot reading. For loads of you, you're into that. Or this is literally, you know, Italy, um, uh, Greece, uh, Eastern European, European energy, very strong heritage here, okay? Very strong heritage here. I love it. So um, when you have those energies, then the dragon and also the forest and the trees, right? Hugging trees, you know, cuddling trees, singing with trees, relaxing with trees. Feeding trees is really important, right? I love this card. Now, why is the fox here? The fox is exactly there because of that. Because you have these gifts, because you have this affinity, you have this blood, right? So uh, whether it's Viking or Celtic or whatever, right? Beautiful energy. I love it, okay? That's number four. Let's go to number five. Number five. Number five. Hey, and livid senses, all of you, good to have you here. Number five. If you chose number five, message of concern. There's a message coming in here that should scare you. I don't know whether that's the case, everybody. Yes, because look, it's like, oh my God, what happened here? Oh, now, if you bought your 100 euros birth chart reading, be extra mindful about this message regarding the holy event. If you didn't buy it, everybody, be careful of somebody scamming you. Anyhow, that's for all of you. Uh, and others of you, somebody wants to work with your soft side. Like, send me a message of concern, you know, and then Capricorn is going to be, you know, opening up to me and blah, blah, yada, 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 right? Hey, Amber, good to have all of you. Okay, KE, good to see you all in the chat, okay? Now, let's see. So that's number 14. You either have 14 in, uh, you know, that's 14 is important for you. I don't know, your birthday, uh, your house number, social security number, whatever number 14 is, okay? Others of you, there's something behind the curtains. And there's something about Tiffany, of course, because there's a beautiful Tiffany lamp in the background. Others of you, you're into beautiful, uh, you know, uh, luxurious, right? Uh, lamps, <laughs> right? Or antique, of course, right? Beautiful Capricorns. We are the ones that collect, right? We collect our antique, right? And because of that, you know, at uh, a certain moment, uh, the price goes up. And, uh, yeah, that's a beautiful investment, right? So um, if you're that one here with number five, the value is going up. Whatever you are investing in, any antique, okay? 
This could even be old dresses, maybe even old fabrics. I have no idea what you're doing here, but uh, the price is going up. The value is going up. And others of you, be careful because somebody is trying to uh, send you a message of concern so you will care again. Yeah? Just be mindful about that. Okay? Number six, if you chose number six. And by the way, there's something hidden behind the curtains. Somebody hit something or put something behind the curtains. I don't know what, but number six. Number six is the ice bear reverse. 51, 15, uh, 10, 11, 9 might be important. The numbers or uh, a Sagittarius or an Aries is important. They don't like it that you uh, you went cold on them or you went cold on somebody here. Yeah? Um, the uh, ice bear reversed, everybody, is, of course, also the survival technique, right? Because this is what's literally going on right now. They can't survive. They're all drowning, right? They don't have any uh, solid foundation because the ice is melting, right? Now. For some of you who chose number six, you have your own ideas about that, right? Meaning, is that really true or is that not true? You have your own ideas and theory behind that. So this is all about the warming of the global world and blah, 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 right? Whether you're pro con doesn't matter. You have your own theory, your own idea. Others of you, you have a genius idea regarding global warming. Do it. Do it, do it, do it. That's number six, okay? Whether it's pro, whether it's con, whether it's about exposing the truth or the facts, it doesn't matter. It's a genius idea that you have. And then there's something else here. There's Alibaba and the seven thieves. Is it the seven? Maybe it was eight. Is it 20, 30, 40, 50 thieves? I have no idea. But Alibaba shows up with some thieves. Why does Alibaba show up with some thieves? Because Alibaba wants some warmth. Others of you, Alibaba, I don't know, uh, shopping, whatever Alibaba means for you. Others of you, your name is Ali or Hussein Ali, okay, Arabian names, okay, Ali. Uh, Ali, okay, Ben Ali is also important, whatever that means, Ali. Ali Express, Ali, I don't know, Ali, okay. Ali Allison, anything with Ali, Ali, okay. So whether it's 40, thank you very much, Angie, 40, 30, 80, 20, it doesn't matter. The number is not important here, everybody. What is important is the fact that somebody is a thief. They come in with seven, they come in with 40, they come in with 20. It doesn't matter. The thief is a thief, right? So somebody wants you to get warm again for them. It's like, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have stolen from you. Oh, yeah, I don't know, you know. <laughs> Once a thief, always a thief, right? I don't know, you know, I'm just saying, right? So you might want to be careful here, everybody. Yeah, be careful. Whatever this means for you. By the way, number six is also um, crystals and gemstones. And for some of you in particular, Swarovski. You're into Swarovski. You love Swarovski, right? If you have a Swarovski piece, oh, wear it every day, please. Swarovski, Swarovski, Swarovski. You like that crystal, okay? Let's see. Let's go to the final three, everybody. Number seven. If you chose number seven. If you chose number seven. Number seven, number seven, number seven. Here we go. Number seven. Occupation is reversed. Occupation is reversed. A job, everybody, means suffering. The literal translation of job means suffering. So, like I said, don't call it a job, everybody. Call it profession, a role, okay? Uh, maybe even work, right? But not job. Occupation is reversed. So, if you chose number seven, there's something going on regarding your work. Uh, if you look at this person who is uh, sewing, right? Oh, it fell on the floor. Okay. Some of you, you want to create your own fashion line or something like that. Somebody says, no, no. By the way, here are the curtains too. Look, fabrics. Do it, okay? Whatever you want to do, it's going to be highly beneficial for you. You're going to make a lot of money out of it. 34, 35, 33 is important. Somebody says, no, no, no. The answer is yes, yes, yes. Do it. Okay. Others of you, you are a designer or bags, or clothes, uh, maybe you make uh, custom-made shoes. I have no idea. But it's reversed. And people could do a smear campaign. Don't buy those curtains. Don't buy those dresses, blah, blah, blah. They're jealous because you make the most beautiful stuff, right? Uh, when we have the sewing machine, everybody, sewing, right, or the sewing, the sewing machine, look, uh, it always comes with one of the best ones, which is called Singer, right? 
The singer is the best sewing machine. But some of you have Gemini in your chart. Or this is a Gemini. Geminis are known, everybody, okay, to do handcraft uh, work. So whether this is sewing or knitting or I don't know what you do here, they are known to do that. So if you have Gemini anywhere in your chart, it's logical. And you make the most beautiful creations, right? So whatever you are creating, whether you are a designer of, I don't know what you do here, okay? It doesn't even have to be, you know, fabrics or sewing, right? Or whatever this is. It, there's jealousy here, okay? Because you do it like nobody else does, right? So everybody makes bags. Everybody makes jackets. Everybody makes shoes. But when you make it, right? Oh, Lord have mercy. It's totally different, right? You could also have Aquarius in your child, by the way. Uh, the handcraft and the details are, especially with the majestic, okay, and genius uh, creations is Gemini. But uh, the difference, everybody, is Aquarius. Aquarius don't care, okay, about being different. They are different. They are that person, okay, when they come in, they're different. You're going to notice Aquarius. You are going to notice Aquarius. So if you have Aquarius in your chart with Gemini, ooh, beautiful combination. By the way, I was raised by Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra, okay? Uh -huh. I am literally a product of air science. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. So maybe you have it in your chart. I also, by the way, have it in my chart. I don't only that I have a Leo not in my chart. Other than that, I have everything in my chart. And uh, when we look at Vedic astrology, everybody, especially Brahman Orthodox, which only Brahmins do, and I am the daughter of a Brahman priest, right? Uh, there's something that we check. We check different kind of things that other people don't check, everybody. And this is why your birth chart readings are so amazing regarding things that nobody will ever tell you, ever, ever, okay? Um, there's also something here with Oki. Oki, uh, Oki, and Aki. Uh, ice, different languages, Oki and Aki, ice. Uh, and also Oki is um, a series, everybody, of um, something with the uh, cartoon, with... Uh, they look like squids or something like that. I don't even know what the name is of that series. That that was some time ago. Okay, I don't know. Oki is also a name, everybody. Oki. Oki. Okay, others of you, Echo. Echo. Echo is uh, also listening, right? Listen or Echo. Okay, others of you, uh, Echo is uh, anything else, right? In your language, we have so many languages, right? Whatever it means, Oki or Echo or Aki. Okay. Uh, and Aki and Oki, definitely I. Thank you, uh, Ina, definitely. And echo is, of course, you know, the echo, the sound. And the echo is also a speech, um, whatever that means for you. Others of you, you should do something with it, okay? I don't know whether you want to start your own business. Just think about it. Incorporate something with Oki, Echo, or Aki. Okay? So, uh, oh, Oki is also a beautiful handcraft. Thank you, Ina. Thank you, okay? Aki is also fruit. Always check the chat. We have beautiful brothers and sisters, okay? The, we're doing this together, right? They have information for you. They always do that. So check it, okay? Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Number eight, if you chose number eight, everybody. Number eight. Oh, you have the tree of life reversed here. Some of you have Jewish roots, of course, right? Uh, the Tree of Life reverse is also somebody who does black magic on you. They want to take away your rainbow, but, you know, the rainbow is yours, right? So even if they're saying, yeah, it's going to be your downfall, uh, the rainbow is still here. And look, there's still a tree. Oh, there's going to be another downfall tower. Oh, but the tree is still here. And there's still a, a Tree of Life. And there's still a rainbow. Yeah, but we're going to do another one. Oh, but there's still a tree. There's still a Tree of Life. That's a beautiful thing if you chose number eight, everybody. Uh, some of you, uh, 1975 or uh, 5 or 7 or 57 is important or 75 is important. Uh, you already know what this is about. You either have this uh, orthodox, right, any religion, any culture in your bloodline. And others of you, you know exactly who these people are. And it doesn't matter, right, whatever they say, it's impossible, everybody. You can only speak and call a blessing into existence. Not hate and black magic, etc. God is not there, everybody. There's something else there, but not God. This is, by the way, also for number uh, eight. Yeah, do your magic. Do your black magic. Burn that dragon blood incense sticks. Do your spells. You're like, nah, hell no. I ain't going to do that. 
I ain't going to do that. And if you bought your birth chart reading of 100 euros with the holy event, you're definitely not going to do that, right? Hell no, right? So um, I also see, of course, trees, hugging trees, you know, uh, singing for trees, laying there with the trees, okay, reading a good book or just relaxing with the trees, right? Because this is what we do on my YouTube channel, right? Especially when I say hugging trees, right? This is something that we do. It comes from this channel, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, by the way, somebody is trying to create problems for you here. It's not going to happen, okay? Yes. Others of you, somebody wants you to be down. It's not going to happen. The rainbow is, uh, you know, it's too uh, prominent here with the tree. Now, look at this tree, by the way. Uh, hello. By the way, for the brothers, right? You have some beautiful veins, right? You know, regarding your art piece, your reproductive organ, that's for the brothers. You either have a huge one or you have some beautiful veins there. In other words, you have a healthy tool down there, right? Yeah, you do. Seven of Cups, lots of uh, other people, okay, that are interested in your tool. They keep staring at it or they keep looking at it or whatever this is. For the brothers, you have a healthy tool, okay? So, and a sexy tool. And some beautiful veins. Okay, why is she talking about veins, you might be wondering. Well, <laughs> listen, everybody, everything is art, you know. Everything is art. What do you want me to tell you, everybody? Everything is art. Yes, even the reproductive organs. The moment you're going to look at everything like that, everybody, everything is beautiful. Everything is peaceful, right? Now, this is how GDT looks at life. This is why my life is so amazing, everybody, and successful. This is how I look at people. This is how I look at life. Even the beautiful veins, okay. Yeah. Okay, let's continue. Number nine. Let's go to number nine. And for the Capricorn uh, that can appreciate, right, the uh, tool of the brothers, you know what I'm talking about. It's also, you know, it's a piece of art, you know. It's divine masculine, divine feminine. It's all art, 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 art. This is why we have Kam Sutra. Kama Sutra in Vedic belief system, that's Vedic astrology, everybody. Is Kam Sutra in Sanskrit? Kam Sutra, everybody, is the art. It's not about some positions that you do together. It's the art of the holy union between the divine feminine and divine masculine. So when you look at Kam Sutra, which you say Kama Sutra, you don't look at pictures, okay, of, you know, penetration. No, there's much more behind it, Capricorns. Kam Sutra even has, okay, the art of how a woman and a man should be, especially the woman. And it has nothing to do with being submissive, although we Capricorns, we like the dominant and submissive game. We like that, okay? Let's be honest about that. We're not going to say, oh, dominant, submissive, oh, or, you know, oh, that's so naughty. Oh. You don't do that. We're Capricorns, right? With the devil, you know what happens in the dungeon. Anybody that's going to say, yeah, but, you know, Capricorn, so much sex, blah, blah, blah. With the devil, this is what happens in the dungeon. Hello, wakey, wakey, right? But Kam Sutra, everybody, is also about the feminine energy. How is the feminine dressed? How does she do her hair? How is she smelling? Um, how is she doing her nails? How is her voice? Uh, is she always angry or does she have a soft voice? Is she talking sweet st stuff? When you are literally together and you do stuff, you know, that's sexy, it has to do with the art of the woman. And then the man, the divine masculine, is going to conquer that energy. And what happens, everybody, this is when the coitus, right, the intercourse, the intertwining of the divine feminine and masculine happens. Nothing dirty about that. Everybody does it. The only thing that Indian people, people from India, Vedic astrology and the Brahmins, it comes from us, right, Kam Sutra, comes from India, from the Brahmins, everybody. It's the holy, holy energy, okay? And trust me, for loads of you, you know it, right? There's nothing so beautiful, everybody, than, uh, than to see each other from that art perspective. And this is when the holy union really comes at place. Because this is when you have the most intimate relationship ever. And this is how it works. Yeah. So for those who are new to the channel, welcome. Do make sure that you subscribe, like, hit that notification bell. And share, because you know, once you do that, it's better for me to get into your energy. And you get everything here. We don't talk about mundane, uh, you know, things only. You know, that's much more that we do on my YouTube channels, right? Let's do number nine, everybody. Yes. By the way, um, 
if you do have uh, Jewish roots in your uh, in your bloodline with number eight, everybody. Um, yeah, of course, right. The tree of life is uh, also Kabbalah. Kabbalah, everybody. Kabbalah is also Kaaba Allah. So this is for the Arabian and for the Jewish people. Really important if you chose number eight. Now, what that is right now at this moment, you know, right? You know. And also, of course, the Indian people. Uh, why? Because everybody, Krishna, Bhagavan, the God of love, people don't know that he was a Jew. So Indian people are also Jewish. Okay. Let's continue, everybody. Let's do number nine. Let's do number nine for my beautiful Capricorns, my beautiful cross watchers. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Capricorn, or anywhere that you have it in your chart. Number nine. You chose the dice. You might want to go to the casino, gambling, because look, the dice is here. When you throw the dice, because it's in the upright, it's not luck, everybody. Uh, luck doesn't exist. And people say, oh, you're so lucky. No, you're not lucky. You either worked hard for it, you put the efforts in it, you put the emotions in it. There's something in it, right? In it. Another thing is that the Wheel of Fortune People say luck, right? That's not luck. By the way, the Wheel of Fortune is not Sagittarius. It changed to Scorpio. What? Yeah, it changed to Scorpio. But we're going to do that the next time, everybody. There's a huge change. And by the way, for those who bought your 100 euro birth chart readings, you know what I'm talking about. And again, if you want one, make sure that you buy it on time, everybody. I'm only going to sell it until the 17th, max 18th, and then it's done. Orthodox Brahman Vedic astrology. You don't get that anywhere else. Yes. Um, the dice are here because something is yours. And luck does not exist, everybody. When you throw the dice, it's already yours. Uh, but you're going to say, but what if I don't win with the dice? It means that it was yours not to have that. But then you say, but then I didn't win GDT. Of course you did. You just win something else. Are you absorbing that? Write it in your journal. When you use the dice and you throw the dice and they say you need to have two lucky number six, you throw it. You have a six and you have a three. And they're saying, yeah, sorry, there are not two sixes. Did you lose? No, you can never lose. You still win, but you win something else. Once you realize, Capricorns, cross watchers, what that is that you still win, you're going to be your whole life. Wait a minute, I can never lose. And this is why GDT always talks about conquering. Winning and losing doesn't exist. You conquer. Because the moment you don't have two sixes as required, asked, right? You have a six and a three. You still conquer the game by accepting that what is not yours is giving you something else that is still yours. Right? And that's the message here. So go to the casino, gamble, or whatever this is. Number 39 is here. Also number 4 is here. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 39 is here. And the numbers are 1, 2, 5, 4, 3, and 6 are here. Bam! The dice, everybody, is uh, the game. And uh, you can choose to be part of the game or you can be the game. Right? And that is number nine. So Capricorns, I have to go because I have a lot of paid personal readings to do, birth chart readings. In the beginning, I gave you a list. There are a lot of people that I didn't mention. They're all coming. Bear with me, okay? Uh, I want to thank you. It's always an honor to do your reading, Capricorns. I am amazed, okay, with the beautiful compliments about the birth chart reading. I love it, okay, that uh, you are amazed by it. And I also, of course, love the donations, which are like hundreds and hundreds of euros per person. Thank you very much. Yes. And uh, Capricorns, uh, maybe I will be there tomorrow. Maybe not, because I need to focus on those readings. Thank you for being here. Yes, and uh, I'll see you next time. Stay blessed. Always let God do the rest, beautiful Capricorns. And uh, for those who are awaiting your birth chart readings, bear with me. And uh, yeah, I'm telling you again, everybody, it's there until the 17th. 
take this shot, everybody. After this, you won't have in 100, 200, 500 years, it won't happen again, this holy event. So spoil yourself, get yourself one, check below in the description box. Also, images, readings, whatever you want, check below. Okay? Uh, it ends uh, uh, the birth chart reading for 100 euros, chefs up, okay? Only the 100 euros, it ends on the maybe the 18th. And not because the holy event stops then, but because I have to do the work. Because otherwise, I won't be able to manage. I have a lot of them. Uh, the normal birth chart readings, you can buy them anytime that you want, which is 250 euros. You can buy it anytime, yes? And if you want to upgrade, you're not going to pay 250 euros if you bought 100 euros. You only have to buy extra 150 euros if you already had the 100 euros. Yes? I love you all, and I'll see you next time. Yes? Bye-bye. Bye-bye, beautiful Capricorns.